What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning, hope you're all doing great and welcome to another weekend update on Pepe. Uh, we covered it yesterday of course, or did I? Yeah, I think I covered it yesterday. Yesterday what, what we said, it was a pretty pretty volatile day. Um, what we said in the morning is that um, I did expect, like then our main resistance level was still this level right here around 9500 to 9600, so let me actually put that on the, on, on the chart for you, you can actually see the level quite well on the chart. But here it is. This was still our main resistance. And what I said in the video is that I did still expect some bullish momentum coming from Bitcoin. Um, and that therefore I also thought that Pepe would be strong enough to break above that level and get towards this level right here between 10,000 and 10,500. So I would say I was right. And if you want to check out that I really said that, I would say I check out the video, but um, none of you are probably going to do that, which I understand. Um, <clears throat> but all right, it, I mean, the, the reasoning behind it is, is quite, quite, quite logical, I think. Uh, Pepe has always been bullish on Friday and Saturday, first of all. Um, and Bitcoin has always been or has, has been uh, very, very bullish on Friday as well, uh, most of the time over the last couple of weeks. And then apart from that, we also already got quite a lot of bullish momentum yesterday. So we got a bullish breakout already. So it was expected that we would get more bullish momentum. And that in combination with what we know about Pepe was enough for me to, to say that. But all right, that's the situation now. So now the big question is, is, is what's next? Uh, can we actually get some sort of a, a new bullish breakout or was this it? And are we going to drop down? Uh, and that's what we'll talk about in this video. So before we dive into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals in my own premium trading signal group, and then check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments and there you'll find instructions on how to join but now on to pepper uh, so pepper right now is actually i mean it's still this is ethereum this is not pepper uh, it's still doing fairly well i mean if we take a look at the volume you can actually see see that it's slightly it's 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 still very high um but it is slightly dropping down right i mean it, the, the volume right now i think it went above 200 million about um a couple of hours ago uh, and we did did drop down below that and it seems overall that we're stalling a bit now historically like i said we we know that pepe has been bullish over the um friday and the saturday but historically we have started to drop down around this period of time and that's in combination with that we we, we got no significant bullish breakouts i mean that that bullish breakouts above 9500 and 9600 was great and that gave us the, the bullish momentum we needed to actually get to the price target right here. Uh, but we like if we really want to get some sort of a rally up to like 11,500, um, which would be amazing, then what we would want to do is we would want to break above 10,000, right? So something like this. And um, I don't think there's enough momentum for that uh, because of the weekend, because Bitcoin, I also expect some bearish momentum from Bitcoin right now. Um, I think it's more likely that we'll, we'll just kind of stay in this area. And then unfortunately, I think it's more likely that, you know, if Bitcoin actually stays bullish, then we might actually get some more bullish momentum to, to levels up here. But I think overall, it's more likely that we'll fall back down to this uh, amazing support level around 8,500. And I'll keep you updated on that. It's a, it, it's a level where I have uh, considered buying from quite a lot of times. I never did it though. Um, so I will probably not do it uh, again. But uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of what I think the most likely scenario is right now. But we'll see. I mean, Pepe has been very, very bullish and has received quite a lot of bullish momentum. So perhaps if the market actually stays bullish like this, or at least relatively bullish, then um, then we might do some some great things. But uh, I'll keep you updated on that. For now, this is my take on Pepe. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.